What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. So today we're in for a treat. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at a new card on the channel. Uh, this is not a four gig card. I know we've uh, talked a lot about four gig cards on the channel, uh, but I'm excited. We do have a six gig card. So woo, exciting, six gigs. Uh, these are a little harder to come by, but I'm excited to go ahead and talk about it today in more detail. So today we're talking about the EVGA GeForce GTX 1060. Single fan edition, uh, one of the smaller units that you do have uh, out there right now. Um, this one does have a DVI in HDMI and then uh, just three display ports as well. So a pretty, pretty decent card overall when you're looking at multi-monitor displays. Uh, I did notice right away on this one that this is a uh, six pin card. Um, so it doesn't use a ton of uh, power at the end of the day. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting that uh, into our test best bench and taking a look here. So I'm gonna go ahead now and um, power down our rig over here. This is our test bench rig. We've been running the XFX uh, 580 eight gig card over here uh, for quite some time now. It's doing great. Uh, we're currently right around 32 mega hash uh, that we are mining on this test bench here. And those of you guys that have followed the channel in detail know I have a number of cards uh, around here, a few here, we have two over there, that I'm waiting to put in this rig, but I'm maxed out on power right now. Um, if I add more GPUs, I'm actually, I start to pop the breaker. Um, so I, I do have an electrician coming here in the next few weeks so I can start to take this 12 rig GPU and get us up to that beautiful number of 19. Um, so in the meantime, I have some cards sitting around. I could do some testing on them. Um, I do want to go ahead and uh, test out mining Ethereum on our GeForce um, a GTX 1060 six gig card here. So let me power this down and then we'll go ahead and install the card. Alrighty guys, so our rig is entirely powered down and cooled off. So let's go ahead and uh, uninstall our current card here. All right, so our current card is uninstalled. As I said, this is the XFX 580 eight gig card um, that we do have currently installed here. So let's go ahead and grab out our other one. All righty, so here is our EVGA GeForce GTX 1060, uh, significantly smaller even than that uh, 580 that we did have there. Um, so let's get this installed. It does use a single six pin here. So this card will actually look significantly smaller on our motherboard. And then we're gonna go ahead and grab our six pin here and we'll plug that in and be good to go. Alrighty, simple, easy, and good to go. Let's go ahead and get this sucker powered on. Alrighty guys, so our EVGA GeForce GTX 1060 is installed and ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and get this sucker powered on and then we're gonna go ahead and see uh, exactly what HiveOS is showing us and then see what we can do from an overclock perspective. So let's go ahead and jump over to the computer and take a look. Alrighty guys, I wanted to go ahead and jump over to the computer and not only share with you some of the stats on this card, but then also jump into HiveOS and see what we can do from an overclock perspective. So Newegg prices are ridiculous. Like, like completely write off these prices here on Newegg. This is insane. This card is listed for $925 on Newegg from not even Newegg. It's like a data group or whatever this is in the top right hand corner. Completely ignore these cards when you see them on a site like Newegg. Do not buy these. These cards are not worth $925. Are you kidding me? Do you know what you could buy for $925 right now? That is insane. So let's talk a little bit about our card at hand, regardless of this insane price tag. So this is the EVGA GeForce GTX 1060 SC gaming card. This is a six uh, gig card. It's running on DDR4 
five. So this card is great because we do have the opportunity to flat out mine Ethereum on it still. Even though it is a six gig card and not an eight gig card, you could still get away with easily mining Ethereum with six gigs. Uh, this card fell into my hands by a friend of mine who uh, was also interested in selling me the 1050 Ti as well as the 1650. I didn't take him up on the 1050 Ti. That just really doesn't even perform well on Ravencoin right now, uh, especially if I had to pay for the card. But um, So I did go ahead and buy this 1050. So this 1050 here uh, is 192 bit. It's core clock, and these are things for us to remember, is 1607. And the boost clock is... 1835. So excited to go ahead and dive into this. Let's go ahead and jump over to Hive OS. And we're taking a look at our test bench, which we have labeled Mighty Mouse. So Mighty Mouse here uh, is recognizing our GeForce GTX 1060 6 gigabyte card. It is a Micron uh, DDR5 uh, card that we do have in here. And uh, let's go ahead and refresh our page here. Okay, cool. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and get this configured and set up and good to go. Uh, and I want to go ahead and see what exactly this card is doing stock. So I'll be back in just a minute. All righty, guys. So let's get this set up and good to go. Um, so we're going to go ahead and select Mighty Mouse here. Um, we are going to go ahead and get our flight sheet set up. Once we go over to flight sheet, we need to open up flight sheets here. Uh, we need to add a new flight sheet uh, because we were previously running on AMD. So we're going to go ahead and select Ethereum. We're going to select our wallet. We're going to select the uh, Hivon pools. Fine. Uh, we'll just go with uh, North America here for now. And then on our miner, uh, we can't use Team Red Miner because that's AMD focused. We're going to swap over to T-Rex Miner and we'll name this Ethereum uh, T-Rex. And I like to just put NVIDIA in there, which will be good. Uh, so let's go ahead and create that flight sheet, which is perfect. Here it is right here. So let's jump back to our worker, jump back to Mighty Mouse, go ahead and select our flight sheet. Here it is right here. And let's go ahead and set this. This will now go ahead and send the configuration off to our Mighty Mouse test bench. And uh, now what we'll go ahead and do is swap over here after this is done. Uh, to our overview and wait for this to go ahead and get the configuration out. And let's take a look at some of our stock numbers from the 1060. While we wait, let's go ahead and load up Hive Shell. Um, this is kind of Hive in a box. This allows us to go ahead and console into the unit and see exactly what's going on. My guess is right now, without taking a look, that it is going ahead and uh, downloading and installing the miner. When you do go ahead and apply a flight sheet and you apply the miner, it actually has to download and install that miner, get that miner set up and configured, and then it starts mining. It doesn't start right away just because you press that. So once you're in here, Hive Shell, we're going to go ahead and click here. This is going to go ahead and bring it up, shell in a box. Um, and if we go ahead here uh, on this screen, you can see our flight sheet is a Ethereum T-Rex NVIDIA. T-Rex is our, is our miner there that we do see. Uh, so we can go ahead here and type in miner and hit enter. And then it's going to go ahead and bring up our mining screen. And look at that, just as we talked about, installing Hivo, Hive Miner T-Rex. So it's going to go ahead and unpack this. It has to download it, unpack it, install it, pull down our config, all within a few minutes, it doesn't take super long. So let's go ahead and hang tight and we'll be back when this is finished. All right, we are off to the races more permanently now. Uh, we are seeing right now that we are at 20.10 mega hash. Uh, in our current state, if we swap over to Hive, we can see we are upwards of 78C right now uh, without making any adjustments to not only our fans or overclocks. So we're at 20.10 mega hash at 92 watts. So let's go ahead and jot that down so that we don't forget that. Um, mining Ethereum on T-Rex Miner. And then let me go ahead and get a few of my overclock settings together real quick. I'll show you what we're going to use and then we'll do some testing. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and dive into overclocking. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and click overclocking here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and edit our config right now. And uh, we're going to start out with uh, 150. Uh, we're going to do 1400 for our memory clock. So core clock is 150, memory clock is 1400. Our fan, we're going to bump up right now to 70 uh, just to go ahead and help out with some of those temps. 
Uh, and then finally, we're going to set a power limit of 80. Finally, we're going to go ahead and select here uh, the Oh God and ETH large en enlargement pill uh, only for our GTX cards. Uh, we're going to select that regardless. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and hit save. While we're waiting for this, let's go ahead and jump over to what to mine to see kind of what most people have benchmarked this at. All right, so we are over on what to mine right now. Um, let's go ahead and set this to zero there. And then we're going to go ahead and find the 1060 in our list of cards, which is right here, right in the middle. And uh, if we go ahead and look there, it is telling us for Ethereum that we are at 22.50 right now. Um, we talked about the fact of us getting um, 2010 actually is what we were at by default. And we're at 92 watts. So let's go ahead. There we go. Calculate that. Perfect. So it is saying down here below for Ethereum um, and giving us some of our information here regarding what we can expect per day. Um, so we can expect a dollar sixty-two per day uh, for Ethereum, which kind of gives us some details there as well as our profits. Uh, once we go ahead and calculate everything involved um, to give us a, uh, some perspective on this card right here. Let's jump back to HiveOS and our everything has applied properly within HiveOS. We'll go ahead and refresh this sucker one more time. And uh, give it a second to go ahead and start reporting. If we swap over to Hive Shell, uh, it looks like right now we're at 2103 uh, and in our current state, uh, our power is down to 79 watts right now. Uh, so we have gone ahead and lowered our wattage pretty significantly down to 79 watts, which is actually pretty dang good there. Uh, we are at 21.03 mega hash. So we bumped up our mega hash there, which is awesome. It looks like we have a 2114 down below, which is phenomenal. I'm happy to see that. Let's go ahead and refresh this here. All right, giving us some great details. So let me go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and uh, kill this. Oh, it looks like we have a GPU driver error here as well that occurred. So let me see what I can do about finding a better configuration. All right, guys, we went ahead and found some additional configurations. I want to go ahead and test out here, uh, see exactly how we do. So we got a 150. Uh, I see we also have 1250. Um, and then for our power, interesting enough, 83. Um, and so let's go ahead and apply this here. Uh, we'll give it a minute to apply and we'll see exactly how we're doing. It looks like we're kind of sitting right around 21 right now. I want to see, you know, can we push that? How far can we push this 1060 um, to see uh, what we can get out of Ethereum mining? All right, all right, all right. We are back. Uh, it took a little bit longer than I expected, uh, but we're set and good to go. It required a reboot there, but let's take a look. So our GeForce GTX 1066 gig card is up to 23.16. Heck yeah. Uh, and we're down to 84 watts right now. I found a nice little magic number here. Um, so let's go ahead and jump back over here. We are at uh, 23.16 at 84, which is awesome awesome whoa not that much we definitely don't want that okay let's do a calculate there let's see back over to ethereum and we bumped ourselves up a little bit here uh when it comes down to our profitability projections uh but other than that looking pretty good i'm, I'm actually pretty happy i mean 23 i mean 23 is pretty dang good for a 1060 uh six gig card right now i mean we just had the um 580 in there uh and that was putting down 31 to 32 as an 8 gig card so once again the mighty mouse test bench is looking pretty dang good so we've gone ahead and done a few different overclock settings on our evga geforce D gtx 1060 i love this little card man giving us 23 mega hash right now on six gigs at 84 watts give me like 10 of these please um anyways i'm super happy with our results here and you guys can see that uh, there we go uh as to there's 23.07 uh 2310 2312 so looking pretty dang good have you guys run this card before
Does anybody out there run this card? If you're currently running it right now, what, what type of mega hash are you putting down? Better yet, if you have a overclock configuration that you can share for this Micron card, please do. I'd love to go ahead and have you guys comment down below in the uh, and let me know the mega hash and the overclock settings. That would be phenomenal. I will go ahead and put my configuration down below in the comments if you're looking to copy me on this. And hey, I'm gonna see if I can find more of these cards out there because there's no way I'm going over to Newegg and spending $925 for this card. Maybe 150 right now, 200 maybe pushing it, but I could get away with 150 right now if I needed to US, but my gosh, 925, you're nuts. Anyways, guys, thank you guys very much for joining me today going over the EVGA GeForce GTX 1060 6 gig card. If you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.